everybody. Welcome back to Majora's Mask. Jesus Christ. Give us a bit to, like, get set. Fuck. <laughs> Let's not say we did. <laughs> no, fuck you. Anyway, some of you may know my history with this temple from the live stream where I blew it, where I blew big chunks. <laughs> you are being, also, you, this, you, are, uh -huh, uh -huh. you are being super insecure about that. Nobody cares, Matt. <laughs> I know, everybody was there for a laugh, but I don't take humiliating defeats very well. Oh, Jesus Christ. You play games with us. <laughs> I'm talking that's, humiliating that's defeats. Ship, yeah. That ship sailed so you're, fucking long you're, ago. You're, you're, We're you, talking... You, you're talking losses, regular yeah. run-of-the-mill losses, like you're, me getting kicked, my ass kicked online at Nintendo All-Star Brawl. I'm cool with you, that. You're a YouTuber, this buddy. You're already humiliated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so for the so sake of this dungeon, yeah, I actually yeah. brought my old versus guide for this one, and we're going to glance at it occasionally while we do this, because I really hate this fucking level. Like, it's just so fucking boring. It's so fucking dull. It sucks <laughs> okay. ass. I don't like being no, here longer I mean, than I have to. It's like, it's, it's just, Great Bay is... Great Bay is a Great Bay is sucks. Yeah, Great Bay is a dungeon. Like, Great uh, Bay is it, sucks. It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure like, that's what I just thought, heard. So here's the thing. I'm of two minds of this dungeon because personally, I find it way more fucking interesting than the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time. Low bar? At the same I know. I don't know because sometimes I have people that adamantly defend uh, that temple uh, with their lives. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's... I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't think Water Temple was that bad. If I were to choose between the two, I pick Great Bay because it's in a, it's in a game that I like more than I Ocarina of Time, so by association, that is oh. part of it, but this dungeon sucks, dude. <laughs> it really is. It's not like, fun. What? Like, it just uh, feels I, like, a, it just feels so, so industrial. Should it's I ask, place? or am I just going to see? I mean, you... You can well, see as Matt, as Matt's playing it. I mean, I mean, alright, so let, let me, let me re-emphasize. It is a pain in the dick. It is an even painter... A painter in a dick. Painter? It is an even bigger Super pain painter. in the dick. When you're trying to get all the great fairies in it too, mapping out that route so that you're not overstaying your welcome in any room, and then making sure you're not backtracking too much is the worst in this dungeon. Okay. Um, but it's also just a matter of what you have to do. I mean, again, a thing about Majora's Mask dungeons is because there's only four of them in the game is that they are very condensed and they ramp up the difficulty and puzzles to make up for that. Great Bay Temple, I think, probably signifies that the most Oops. because there is like three, four things happening in every fucking room, like in this dungeon. Oh, okay. A lot of cause and effect. That so like what what Matt's doing now will have ramifications way later in the dungeon. Right. So you have to do oh, this shit. Brother. Like yeah, you like you have to think of step one to solve step seven later down the dungeon. You also have to Otherwise, do it in a finite manner because, or else you'll do what happened to me and you'll find yourself looped in a dead end. Yeah. So you gotta, so you, there's also a, a, a method to the madness. Yeah. Is it physically large? Like if, because let's say you don't know mm. to do a lot of this stuff, are you gonna be running back and forth for five minutes every time? It's a matter is of, it like, you, you, we're gonna get to the big reason why this place is a pain in the ass after Matt completes this room. That was enough. Um, <laughs> But well, it is a matter. It, 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 it's a matter of how you travel through hell? this dungeon, through multiple rooms, as you push more switches to open some more areas, but close off others. Honestly, you know? the next dungeon we do follows a similar philosophy, but that one's way more interesting, way more fun, yeah, way more Tower. thematically interesting. Stay, Stone Tower. Does, does Stone yeah. this, I love yeah. that dungeon; it's my favorite. Yeah. Is the problem here that it feels like busy work? No, it's not busy work. It's not meandering. It honestly isn't all that bad if you can continue to keep in memory to this place. But this is the one dungeon in the game I never do. It's a lot to commit to memory. Right. Okay. It's just yeah. And, and as I've gotten, even as I've gotten older, this is one of those things that just leaves the brain. Well, yeah. Hey, that's gonna happen the more you get older. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's like, have a seat, man. You're going. Matt, your Matt, brain is going. I have to, to break. tell you about your weight. <laughs> but, you know, well, I'm here for my break. <laughs> I I keep sticking a fork in my eye because I keep forgetting how to eat. Trust me, you're gonna you're gonna start losing some stuff there. I see. All right, now this is the big. Uh, oh, that's good. This geez. is the big central room in the area that's here. That's a high seat. That's high seat. That high seat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you Whoops. see this? You see this big turbine what sort the? of like windy, sort of yeah yeah apparatus. You you're gonna have be... to go with the flow. In more ways than one, you yeah. have to actually control the flow yourself as well, so that you can get it. To, you can have your windmill take you to whatever room you're going to need to go to. I failed to commit a proper map on the uh, live stream, so whoopsie. Yeah, uh, was it a gray fairy in that spot? There is. There, okay, I wasn't sure like what that was. Like, Matt is uh, just like fuck all with the aiming. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. I'm gonna punch the fucking shit out of that pot. Sometimes you end up. Sometimes you end up getting luckier that way. Shoot early. Oh yeah, lead the shot. Go. Oh, it's like, if that didn't count, I would have been really angry. <laughs> well, technically, it didn't count yeah. going in. <laughs> you got, it, you got it on the back it, end. It counts, it counts. Ah, oh, fuck. 
You can't put the mask no. on. You can't put the mask on. You're losing the yeah, fairy. Yeah, that's right. You can also that's drown right. in this game. That's right. You can also you also can't put mask on underwater. Wait, you're losing the fairy. No, don't worry about it. No. We'll get it. We just gotta go all the way up to the tippy tippy tops. Yeah, thankfully, no matter how far the fairy is away in the room, if it's in the room with the mask on, it, it will. Flies right it flies right to you. It oh, will. Okay. You will attract it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, as soon as you hear that chime, that means a great fairy is on your way. Like it's also it, in the room. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's also actually in the room. no. The chime means right. it's in the room. You gotta dig yeah. it out still. Yeah. Right. No, so I now, think the, the glowing is enough to just say it's in the room. But oh, the, there you if, go. When you hear the chime, it means there's one tailing you. Correct. You're right. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now you re-equip the submarine mask. Yes. <laughs> submarine. <laughs> His name was Macau. I mean, it's way fucking better than the iron boots. Yeah. Yeah, so. Hands down. Oh, I agree. Yeah. No, no, I'm somebody who wasn't even bothered by the iron boot thing I, in a major yeah, in Ocarina I, I, time, I, and I think this is way better. I don't yeah. have a problem with the iron What was wrong with the iron it was because it was an item. It was, it was because it was an item you had to constantly pause to. Yeah, upgrade. that was the biggest that, issue. That there. was it. That was the biggest issue, and that issue was enough. You, you know? know, compared to the mask in this game, which is mapped to the C button, which is way yeah. better. It's just faster. Um, and uh, again, to be fair, Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS did fix this issue, but by making the iron boots a selectable item. True, but uh, as I, no, I mean, oh, I, you know what I'm due for a run of that game too. I haven't played that. In I long. haven't played Ocarina 3D and. Over I, ten years at this I point. I actually played it uh, like six months ago. Just a couple months ago. First yeah. time. Any first Ocarina, time I've beaten I Ocarina in decades. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I was gonna ask because like my first exposure to Ocarina of Time was you because I did see you playing it. Yeah. But like, were you like hard committed to that game for a while? No. Oh, I was. No. no I did I it. Not, I did it the I, wrong way without a guide. Like this was you know before the real event of the internet and all that shit. So you kind of had, you really had to work hard to figure it out on your own. Yeah, and, um, I, I, that, that's I did what really I was. good on my own as a kid. I found almost everything. I was like, maybe ten skull chillas off the whole thing, but I found every heart container. I found all, I found every weapon and item. I did great on my own as a kid. It just, I, I had that last little percentage to get. And I couldn't find it. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't like crazy for it. I, I loved it. I thought that it was great at the time and it was it was a terrific game and I still love that's it. a game that I believe, you know, still earns still deserves the, the respect that it has. Uh, I, I, yeah, I got a kick out of it. Majora's was the one that I was just like you know, was, I just I'm not vibing. You like some game. sort of memory that I have like well sort of thought, not so much memory, but thought I had. Because I did see Ocarina at a time like around its launch. Like it was ninety eight, yeah. right? And when I saw like I thought like the, the F the, the, the FPS view of adult Link holding the bow and arrow, his hand was like the most photorealistic thing I've ever seen in my life <laughs> around that time. I was like, holy shit, the graphics are so good. Ugh. I'm looking at a hand. Yeah. It's like, I was like, oh my god, the graphics well, are I so mean, good. Well, I mean, how many times have you ever heard people say, oh, this game looks amazing? The grass texture. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the jump from Super to, like, Nintendo to Super Nintendo. That um, took a hey, long you, time. You, you, actually, that I can tell a... you who said that. Me. What? Going from Mario 2 on the NES to Mario 2 on Mario All-Stars in the Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, so oh, my like, God. oh, my God, everything looks so the, much better. The, the grass textures. <laughs> that's a running gag the for me. save feature. <laughs> whenever, whenever people complain about graphics or something, I, that's always my, my go-to gag. Is like, oh, but the grass texture it yeah, looks yeah. so much better. <laughs> I can see the horse balls in 3D. <laughs> people, Thanks, Rockstar. Like, people yell about that with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And they're like, this game is terrible we need a new mario kart look at the me. grass texture i'm like do you care Have, are you that trash you're buzzing you're, through that shit yeah. at like 300 miles you, per thanks, hour or, or are you that garbage that you're in the grass all the time so you get a good look at it yeah i was gonna <laughs> say <'cause> that's <laughs> the only reason why you're able to stare at it maybe you shouldn't touch grass in this case <laughs> but god damn they don't want to touch it in real life so they need the game grass <laughs> exactly to look at with their anti-gravity <laughs> Now, the, Get treasure him, Zola. For the, the treasure for this dungeon is ice arrows, right? Yep. All three arrows are from the first game are the treasures in this game, and that's a kind of a good thing, actually, because the ice arrows actually get some real freaking use aside from being a bonus item. Yeah. That can also freeze out the metal things in the... um. Yeah, because, like, here's the thing. In Ocarina of Time, like, what was the absolute earliest you can get the ice arrows? Uh, as soon as you got a Pona, hook shot. You needed all. You needed a lot of gizmos to get through that dungeon. So yeah. honestly, the best time to go was whenever you felt ready for it. But by the time you got them, though, it was like, what else am I using this for? Exactly. It was so kind was... of a bragging rights sort of item. Oh. But you need yeah. them, though, right? But you still no, need. You don't. Ice you really don't. Oh, you don't I, need the ice hours are absolutely optional. Yeah. 
feel like there's something in here that's about to run into me and I'm going to get angry. Actually, Actually, yeah, it's those I hands. Think, it was I those think hands. when I played the game, I don't think I had them. I thought I heard bomb tree, that's why. No, I think it's just those hands. Yeah. All right. Come right over here. What, these hands? Yeah, those hands. Oh, you can catch what? them. So anyway, my experience. Yeah. Because uh, Jesus Christ, I didn't well, even get to say we're shit. We're in the middle of the conversation, <laughs> yeah. and you not wanting to be rude didn't say anything. Yeah. yeah but we can't. Me. But hold on a sec. Can't read minds, Elliot. So <laughs> if you want to butt in, go go right ahead. Yeah, but y'all were having a very. Anyway, explain yeah. to your Ocarina in of Time session. And before you say that, I want to say something else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fucking hit you. <laughs> uh, no, what, what, what I was what saying is, is that, that is I was just gonna say that Elliot was smart to do that, and it's better to me because I keep interrupting my times by accident. <laughs> Now you're saying, Elliot? But, no, it's so bad you do it to yourself. You somehow interrupt <laughs> yourself. Anyway. I think everybody um, does that, too. Um, okay, so, like, here's the thing. I, did, I didn't play Ocarina of Comic Time. I, I, That's I got, your story? Well, damn! We've been on this edge of our seat for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Christian, continue, Elliot. I'm teasing. Go ahead. <laughs> My exposure to Ow. Ocarina of Time was actually John when he was emulating it for the first time. I saw him doing it. Right, right. On the, on the family computer. <laughs> that fucking... Wait, Ocarina of Time was on the Famicom? No. The family... Not that. Wrong uh, family no, no. computer. The actual family yeah. computer. Yes. Okay, got yes, it. The yeah. family PC. The family computer. The, the, the personal go. computer yeah, that the entire okay. family in the house uses. Remember, remember back in the day when people did that? <laughs> Jeez. What, your, sharing a computer? Your house had, your house had a computer. Yep. So much porn. <laughs> so many viruses. <laughs> And like I would dab damn it, damn it, Grandma. <laughs> but like I would dabble in playing Ocarina of Time myself, but like I never really fully committed. When did you first? Did you ever? Did you ever beat it? I have, yeah. And when when would, when did you first finish the game? Uh, it was 3D, wasn't it? It was 3D. Yeah, it was 3D. Okay. Cause I had I I brought John's copy. Yeah. It it was during college. It was before Majora's Mask came out. I remember that. Yeah. I think that's the reason why you did it. It was because you you had. I think interest in Majora's Mask yeah. 3D. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, so you wanted to at least play Ocarina of Time first, so that you just played it on 3D. Oh shit, it's Legion from Symphony of the Night. Believe it or not, this is Wart. This was yeah. the boss from the Slime Temple in uh, uh, Link Legend is Link to the Past. To the but past. Yeah. I always thought it was supposed to be based off Vitreus from the uh, Misery Mire. Wait, fuck you mean it's Wart? That's not a frog. Well, it's got a lot of words <laughs> on it though. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this yeah, was supposed to be Vitreus the, from Ocarina of Time. I yeah, mean, that's yeah. the, to the past. That's the, the uh, Misery Mire boss. Yeah, that's yes. what I thought, too. Was the big eyeball with other eyeballs. The safest way to do this is that you want to just, like, blast it with the hook. You want to get the eyes off of it with the hook shot and then blow it the fuck up afterwards. Oh, that's why, then. Yeah. Okay, but because that's, all... that's the boss from... Um, the Swamp Palace. Swamp Palace. Right, just like the in that game. Yeah. However, I'm impatient. Blast masks were just fine, and if you can really time your... Bombing right, you can actually blast the eye too and get a cheap shot in. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just time you, your bombing right. T let's talk about CM Punk, shall you we? Don't, you don't <laughs> have to. You don't have to strip every eyeball off in the eye. You just need enough to get you a just, clear shot. Okay. Yeah. Um, but Matt's just making extra sure that he can, you know, get a clear shot. Again, um, if if you don't have regular bombs, blast mass is really good for this too. I like to personally get underneath this thing's taint and then just fucking let her rip. <laughs> and what is the, what does the blast mask do again? It's a free bomb. It's like, just a free bomb. Okay. It holds your shield up when you're activated. Oh, though. okay. Otherwise, okay. you will take damage. But as long as you have the blast mask, it's basically a free bomb. Okay, it turns you into a bomb. Yeah, turns you into a bomb. Essentially, That's like legit. Like I think it's one of the best early masks in the game because it, there's a lot of utility for it. Yep. Like you just you just have an all encompassing AOE attack for free, and it's a bomb. So just as long as you hold your shield. Yeah, as long as you have your shield yeah. up, you won't take any damage. Just because of the game, that's just how the game works. Is that? Do you, do you think that was intentional, or do you think they were just like, I, oh, it, an it, explosion it kind goes of, off? It, it kind of like it seems a bit of an oversight for me, but one I'm not going to complain about because it's my benefit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there there are no mechanics built around like you have the mask, but you can't. You lose your shield, for instance, so, yeah. oh, you can't use it, but you need it, so now the shield is the item you have to get. That would actually be kind of interesting. If you set off the bomb, I'm but it destroyed your weakest shield, so, like, that's yeah. your incentive to go and get a better shield from a dungeon somewhere? Yeah. After three blasts to the face, he'll drop, he'll drop his pretensions and then just try to start ramming you. Of no course, any, <laughs> of course, any of these orb thing, any of these uh, nuclei he had is going to just come right at you, so... What? Let us cast aside titles and pretense. Yeah, I know. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit who keeps poking my eye. I need that to see, you know. <laughs> and I only have one. 
coming up on the next Hyrule Idol. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> and then someone 3 a.m. later. Oh, oh <laughs> Idol. Oh, oh, okay. I thought we were in Termina. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. This is the fantasy land that, that Link made up because he was grieving. <laughs> and possibly dead. Not letting it go. No, I mean, those rumors are only... I mean, that conversation is going to be brought up when we eventually get the Twilight Princess where we fight the Hero Shade. Right, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to worry about it. I'm, I'm probably going to be playing Twilight Princess. Oh, I'm definitely yeah. not playing it. Meanwhile, there's me taking yeah. the best Zelda game Actually, that was no, ever created. Because I'm kind of like... I'm, again I'm kind of flipping between which one I want to play for the channel, and that's between Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Okay. I'll do a uh, Skyward Sword. Oh, thank God. I feel like you're... <laughs> Wind Waker. I feel like you would have taken Wind Waker. I can take Wind Waker. Yeah, I feel like Toon Link is that. a fun like, link. Because honestly, like, honestly, the only thing that I really He's, I hate about that game is the fucking sailing. But that's, like, that's, like that, that, that's an issue. That's a non-issue. I mean, that's what that's what the Wii U version's for. Yeah, well, even with the Wii U version, you can only, it only does so much to alleviate it. But honestly, the sailing for me was the best part. But only oh, yeah, because, I didn't, like, I didn't unlike have that much of a problem with it. Yeah, unlike because for me, it's like unlike other games, Wind Waker was one of those like make your own adventure games too much, like Breath of the Wild would later do. Mm -hmm. You could just go out. Sit. You could, it sucks when you're 100 percenting it because then you got to go about yeah. the whole thing. But if you're just like dicking, you could just dick around to find out your own little adventure to get into on those islands. Sometimes my only problem with that was like, because don't you need to get? You need like the map, the chart for the Triforce piece, mm -hmm. and then you have to go and get the piece before you can buy another one, right? Yes. Yeah. I just kind of, I kind of wish you could just buy a bunch of them at once. Like, you know what I mean? Spend well, as I mean, much money as you can but, and buy all of the, the charts. But the, this, thing that, this is the reason why you play the HD version. Yeah, that and Tingle. Um, because Tingle. you don't have to deal with Tingle's bullshit nearly as much. Okay. Honestly, guy, like that. Li that sucked. My, that my, was my, the my, my like, so I, yeah, because I have a lot of sentimental, like, value with Wind Waker because, like, for a summer in 2004, I want to say. Yeah. I did dedicate like my summer like playing and exploring that game, and I and I enjoyed myself, like but like the the irking parts was like uh, the sailing is getting a little much, and this is the GameCube version, so there was there was no fast sail. Uh, then by the time you get to the Triforce hunt in the end, in the GameCube yeah. original, like oh my god, this just became a horrible game. Like I don't like this at all, which yeah, is why I'm like please play the HD version if you like casually speaking. Want to get your first Wind Waker? Yeah. Right? Well, Unfortunately, I mean, the you HD gotta get, version is. You got to get a Wii U for it. Yeah, because it has and, not been released. And re the game itself, which I think is a little pricey now. Yeah. That's such a creepy ice effect, by the way. What that one? It I just think? makes it, an iceberg thing. It's, yeah. It, it no the like the graphic effect of it. it it's oh, yeah. like it's kind of creepy. Like it's, it, it's stop motion. Yeah. yeah it, it, which like, which is obviously not the rest of the game, so it very much stands out. Yeah. Wait. Then there's me that that wants to play the best Zelda game made. What is Link's it? Link's crossbow training. No, oh, I thought you were going for Wanda Ganelon. <laughs> How about you eat my ass? <laughs> but I don't think... Uh, That's a lot of ass to eat. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I have no problem playing both. Like, I can take Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Because I think both are great. They just have, like, their faults that are like... Eh. Twilight Princess yeah. is that game I didn't... I mean, sitting in the sky notwithstanding, I did enjoy my time with Twilight Princess. It's just... It was also one of those Zeldas I only played and beat once. I think it's because, honestly, I think despite being on a much better system and there's more to do, that game's Hyrule Field is fucking ugh. Yeah. It's a nothing burger. It's a, yeah, and it's so huge. Like, it's huge and there's nothing here. At least Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom gave you the shrines, you know? <laughs> On top of a million other things, but Twilight Princess was like, no, we're just good. The Twilight Princess was like, all right, we're going to make Ocarina of Time, but bigger, better? <laughs> We're, We're not sure yet. <laughs> we made it bigger, but at the same time, we bigger. forgot something. Yeah. That was when he made his one of his uh, chief. Uh, that was one of his uh, chief complaint. That was one of his own, own criticisms. Miyamoto, when he after he released the game, he said it was missing something. He didn't know what. I honestly take Clement's word at it because uh, I remember a video he did on it, and he said something like, "Where's the fun?" And I was like, and it hit me there. I was like, you know what? That's it. That's exactly what I felt. I Are like, we talking like gameplay wise or thematically? Uh, thematically, like okay. well. Anyway, a little bit both, really, because it's like, outside of the Goron sumo wrestling, which was a lot of fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. What? Where's the joy? What, where's the spark? You don't find joy in goat wrangling? No. You don't find joy. That's in busy work. Bug collecting? No. You don't right. find joy in. Jonathan's committed yeah, exactly. to shut down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
four no, no, no. four oh four no, 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 argument no. not found. You no, know, there's some joy in Twilight Princess. Yeah, when you shut it off. <laughs> no, I can. no, isn't there a joy butterfly? <laughs> we or really do make it sound like it's like. See, no, you no, guys the are next, the, next, See, the next rapture. No, but, but <laughs> like, hold on, hold on. There, there, there's, there's joy to be found in Twilight Princess. Hmm. When, when Link's face gets, gets smothered in titty. <laughs> oh, because you're talking about the bar, uh, the barista. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's joy. There's uh, that. Hold on, hold on. Because not, not, not generally interested, and, and like in the comments below, because we gotta draw a viewer engagement anyway. <laughs> but uh, uh, for uh, Twilight Princess stands, like, if you disagree with like the whole like the lack of joy like what would you argue against let's like what 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 do you think is joyous in twilight princess and when we Wh say that we mean like something that has levity something that's Wh deliberately whimsical. in there like whimsical yeah it's something something that's whim yeah. when you look at when you look at zelda games you know for as much as people talk about oh they're you know wind waker for instance it's like oh he stabs ganon in the head in the end it's like okay oh spoiler alert uh you know <laughs> but ganon loses like he does that so yeah i get that there's a serious tone but then look at Link through the rest of the game. The funny faces he makes, yeah, the funny yeah. character interactions. Like, Zelda's always kind of had that. So where is that in that game? I would argue it's still in Twilight Princess. Like, um, anything, everything involving Malo and, like, the shopkeeps. And Zan. Yeah. Like, the dude that almost in, like, um... Zan? It was a... No, not, not oh, Zan. Oh, Zan's not a Zan is, comically Zan funny is character. comical for the wrong reason. Yeah. 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 Um, but... No, but one of the shopkeep, the, the shopkeep that looks dead inside and has to do these little dances, uh, that sort of thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's from Twilight Princess. I might be misremembering, but, you know. <laughs> Imagine the only fun thing you can think of came from another game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. When I, push comes to shove, like, bottom line, if if someone told me, it's like, are you, you're playing Twilight Princess for the channel. It's like, okay. I mean, I just need some, I just need some time to prep, that sort of thing, because, like, I really don't want to wing that game. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd never finish it. And that's not a... I mean, some of these games, you can't really 100% them. No, no. For, for these because we do, things. like... W since we've come back, we, like, we do get requests for, like, the occasional, like, sandbox game. That sort yeah. of thing. And it's like, listen... And it's like, not from Saints Row, which I still have to finish. Yeah. We're very on and off with those kind of games because they can take forever. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? And then even if you edit it out, the problem with that is you're recording for three hours for an hour of footage. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't basically really... that that was ended up being like a big problem we had by the tail end of Far Cry Five. Yeah, you know, like that that game's journey was great to experience, but it took a long time yeah. for us to complete that game. So Gecko's back. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is Gecko number two. But, but now, now he's got snot bubbles. Mad jelly. Snot bubbles. Yeah, that's what I call my that's snot bubbles too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here comes that mad jelly. Yeah, you, you, no, it's because they they wish they could be better, uh, bigger bubbles. Yeah, I do want to so show something mad, off. They're now. mad jelly. Oh yeah, you can freeze this dude. You can't. You're supposed to. Mm -hmm. But there's something I want to show off though. Well, wait. So hold on. You told me that the arrows were optional. Oh, you no, mean in Ocarina? Ocarina, Ocarina time. they were optional. Ocarina okay. Yeah, here you need them, mm -hmm. or else it's no Icona for you. Well, if I wanted to fight someone who could, if I wanted to fight a reptile who could shoot snot bubbles, I would just play Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna like get here. I want to show this that's, off. That's not snot. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this, this guy's is... fucking. This, <laughs> this is a longer version of it, but this is basically Morpha's attack when he got caught in the tendrils. It's like gelatinous cube. <laughs> it <wasn't> just like, <laughs> this just like Oh, also, I'm, don't be stupid enough to be under this, when he freezes. He sees this kid. He's like, I'm going to beat that child to death. <laughs> watch this shit. It's not human, so I don't yeah. think it has qualms. <laughs> Boogers. Man, shut the fuck up. Watch this combo. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the jelly loses the will to live when the frog dies. I don't get how that works, but let's have a talk with our friend here. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. We're still in the middle of the dungeon Road quest, too. Actually, like, we're at the tail end of it. But this, we gotta, this is the last one. Yeah. Right. Because we got the other ones in the other part. Isn't that the guy See from later. Dragon Ball Z that got turned into a frog? No, no, that's, that, that's, doc, that's Dr. Shiro. And we made that joke already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that, yeah. Was, oh. that was Ginyu. No, Ginyu was the one that got turned into a frog. Oh, I thought you were talking about... No, no, like, no, no, no. Yeah, I was talking about the frog guy. Oh, yeah. okay. Dr. Jorah was just a dick. He's putting it very I mean, lightly. So was Ginyu. <laughs> yeah. He, See, he no, was no, no, no. Here's the thing. Ginyu was a dick, but a funny dick. <laughs> Dr. Jorah was just a dick. And an asshole. <laughs> fucking each other. <laughs> an Ouroboros of hatred. And self <laughs> I like the Ouroboros of Hades, the dick going into an asshole. This is, I don't know why I'm looking at this, but I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> wow. It's interesting and perverted all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> We're calling it a party. I have it all. It's like I get Matt the rap. No. I'm just so bored. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I see it. I see it. <laughs> We're calling it a party. Like he's lost on the Jesus road. <laughs> it's like, don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> see you guys Stop in 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so long, it took two days. <laughs> okay.